What's going on, my friends? Welcome back to some more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is what I'm doing today, okay? Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We're gonna jump right in. Gonna jump right in. Got a couple of episodes more for you guys today. Hopefully, we can get through them. Um, don't have a lot of time to do this, but in any case, we're gonna jump in and see what Joseph Joestar is up to. Okay, uh, now that we got another pillar man down he, and hearing that there's more of them I don't know how far this lore is gonna go but the last episodes we reacted to man <laughs> was really bizarre bro like half the time I'm asking myself like what am I watching right now like is this horror is it comedy is it I don't know you know what I mean so let's jump into it and see what they have to offer here okay let's see that Well, you guys told me it was gonna get more rambunctious. <laughs> and it's definitely gotten more rambunctious. You know, um, I'm enjoying JoJo's, man. It's funny. It's scary. It's, I mean, this dives into a lot of different genres. You know, and it's not afraid to go places. And that's what I think I love the most about this anime. Like, it's not afraid to go to places that you don't expect it to go. Like, things happen at very unexpected times. You don't know, you know, sometimes you be like, whoa, what is happening in this scene? And then the next scene, you're dying of laughter. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I like that element of surprise when it comes on to this anime and also the story is well written and and being told in a very unique way through too so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what these three top guys can do i'm wondering if they're the three last dudes or they're just like you know are they under a couple people but they ain't no joke you know what i'm saying like they make um what's his name santana look like he did nothing like these guys are legit legit you know what i'm saying like and they just like bro you not ready like you're not ready to get to catch these hands i mean you straight and the thing about them too is that they know about hamon so that's gonna play into something they're going off the train caesar and jojo is going off the train so hopefully they get stronger in a month to challenge these guys but these guys are after something to get some stone to put into one of those masks i don't know why i don't know if that's their source of power maybe um you know they're saying that they're invincible they are immortal basically they are immortal which it doesn't look like they have a, it or maybe um maybe wamu is the only one that can walk in the light because he came back and he told them oh it's night outside so maybe he's the, maybe he can survive in the in in the sun or uv lights right so i guess we're gonna continue to get more idea of you know what they what you know is wrong with him or you know what can hurt them and what can't hurt them of course we know that hammond hammond can hurt them but to get to that point to hurt them that's where the problem comes in it looks like wamu can control wind or something of the sword we still haven't seen the other two do anything yet and and wamu looks like he's like their protect well not, i wouldn't say protector but they're like a guard you know they're good but they you know what i'm saying they have him as a guard i'm guessing that they're way more powerful than he is but you know you always gotta have one of those people you know what i'm saying but i'm looking forward to seeing what these guys are capable of man they're saucy they're formidable you know what i'm saying this kind of reminds me when frieza just came on the scene in dragon ball z he was just yeah you know i'm saying like i just didn't like his voice 
I just didn't like his voice, but he was definitely, he humbled Vegeta, Vegeta, you know what I'm saying, he humbled Vegeta, and, you know, Goku, Goku stood up, he stood up, so, had to go train, you know what I'm saying, had to go train, so, same thing here with jo with Jojo, man, Jojo needs, he needs that training, he's never been trained in Hamon, he just kind of like, it seems like he just inherited it because of, um, because of his dad. I don't know if his dad learned Hamon, probably not. It looks like he just inherited it because, you know, his, his granddad, which we all know, um, from, um, Jonathan Joestar that he, he trained in Hamon. So he probably just inherited it later on. Cause I don't think anybody taught him or maybe he just picked up on it some reason you know what i'm saying he's a street fighter so he probably just picked up on hamon never got training in it or maybe you, you know i don't know i don't know i don't want to speculate um i'm just happy that he's going to be learning more about hamon now from somebody who has learned hamon from a master by the way because this is um I, I can never remember his name but you guys know who i'm talking about um caesar's grandfather the one that, the guy that trained jonathan you know that died in that dungeon you know that he got split in half that wasn't fun at all you know so anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i appreciate y'all man continue to smash that like button and also leave a comment on the video as always you already know what it is subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace